Hi friends, I just started. It's, it's exciting. I want you to art with me. My name is Kimberly Keller and join me as we paint the caffeinated owl. Sometimes we call it the sugared up owl. The sugared up owl. It's just all about having fun and let's paint together. You follow along with me and if you can do it exactly like me, call me. But for sure, whatever you do, show it to me in the comments. Yours doesn't have to look just like mine. The guy back there with the red. I'm going to make him similar, but there's no way to make him exactly the same. The reason that I can't make him exactly the same is because I'm not a machine. I've tried. It's hard. I'd love to show you some other pictures in here, and maybe at the end, if we have some time, I will. I'll show you things... And I'll tell you that in my studio, I try sometimes to do the same project a second time. Sometimes it's better. Sometimes it's worse. I don't know why. But today when we paint, I want you to paint with me. I want you to let all the other stuff go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, I'm not going to teach you to sing. I promise. Um, I don't have coronavirus. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but we're going to get through this. I'm staying safe and keeping the people that I love with my whole heart. My mom, my daughter, my son, my son-in-law, my son's girlfriend, my aunts and, you know, yeah, my uncles. I do have two more left. Hang in there, you guys. Don't do anything silly like go out into the neighborhood and we are going to be fine. We're going to be fine. So I'm going to get to be a grandma coming up. That's exciting. Eee, instead of just a crazy old aunt, I finally get to be the grandma. And my name is going to be Honey. Honey Bee. Yep. My bumblebee is coming. And I'm very excited about that. Um, I'm babysitting my grand dog. He is a giant Tennessee tree walker hound dog who goes Arr! and I love him so very much. I'm babysitting him for a little while. I'm hanging out with my mom, making some memories. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're hanging out with your mom and making memories. Moms, if you're watching with me. Kids, if you're watching with me. We can all do this. So here we go. I decided to put this one on video instead of doing it live because um, I have a little emotion sometimes that gets in the way. And then I, I also think that it's raining outside. And sometimes when it's thundering and lightning, my live stream gets a little wacky doodle. And I didn't want this one to be wacky doodle because it's a caffeinated owl and it's already wacky doodle. So here we go. Um, I just started. Art with me. Okay, now, when I look at this one, and I have to turn around, so <clears throat> I'm going to do it right here. I lifted it up a little higher than when I did the watercolor, because I do some things with adults, too. I do some things with teens. Today, I'm just going to do that one watercolor that was earlier, and uh, we made some cards, so you don't have to go to the store to buy your cards for your, you can just do whatever it is that way. And then here... I'm going to make the caffeinated owl. I'm using acrylic paint. Just go to town. If you can't go to town and all you have is watercolor, you can do it with watercolor. You can do it with colored pencils. You can do it with marker. But what I want to do first is I want to kind of sketch in lightly. And I like to use chalk because it erases. And I can... Kind of look at that owl, and I don't know if you can see that owl over there. I think you can. Yes, you can. And it just kind of looks like the letter U. And I'm doing mine on a smaller canvas because I want the video not to last too long. And I don't know how big your paper is. That's a 16 by 20 paper. This is an 18, or not paper, canvas. And this is an 8 by 10. And um, same process. Same situation, just one's big, one's smaller. So, for time purposes. And then you can start and stop this. I found that out from my sweet friend Emily. And she said, just press the 
uh, space bar. Boop. And then when you want me to move again, you press the space bar. Boop. And then it goes again. It's really a cool idea. In the middle of my U, I didn't touch the top. If you touch the top, scoochers down. How do you erase with a piece of chalk? You just do this with a paintbrush. And then you draw it again. And yeah, I still see it a little bit, but that's okay. I don't know if y'all can see it. I draw it with a pencil. And I draw it with a pencil. You can draw it with a pencil too, so you can see it a little darker. I try not to push too hard because then it's harder to erase. I don't like pencils because they erase, I can't erase. I also bite off, chew up, and sometimes cook my erasers and eat them. No, I don't. But I do take them off because I want myself to relax and to just be accepting of mistakes. If we can learn to accept mistakes Get over it, not saying you have to like it the whole time, but get over it and move on. And that's what I want you to learn. Art gives you so many life lessons. I've been learning them. Uh, some days I, I talk and I say, okay, I have learned enough lessons for the day. Don't give me any more. I'm full. But sometimes I still get some more lessons. And um, there's never a bad lesson. It's just... A new lesson and we have to learn from them so here we go I find the middle of my sweet little owlet he's adorable by the way and I take letters and shapes and numbers like this is the number two or a V and I put it right there in the middle and then I go up and I go down and look at that I've got a beak Adorable, isn't it? Now, I can make his eyes, and they look like footballs. Do you see it? Or lemons or almonds. Almonds are good for you. And I say, smile and rainbow. Smile. Smile. And then, smile, smile, and then rainbow. Rainbow, rainbow. If you draw them and they're not even one side to the other side, don't stress out. We can fix it with paint. I've been doing this a long time, so most of the time I I get it the first time. If you don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Then I'm going to put his little owly looking ears a little bit. Not too much, but I'm going to almost looks like a cat. I'm going to kind of tell myself he's going to be kind of like that. Can y'all see that? I hope you can. So I'm kind of saying he's going to kind of have a little scoop here. That's going to be his body. Isn't he cute? He is adorable. So now I've got this ready. I don't need a mouth on owls. The reason is his beak is his mouth. This is a science lesson. I have said this before, artists or scientists. They play what would happen if. Now, I could put a smile here, but mamas, if you're paying attention, talk to your children about how the beak is actually the nose and the mouth together. When I used to teach kindergarten, I bet you didn't know that, but I did. I taught kindergarten for a long time, and then I taught art K through 12. I've taught every grade of art art between k and 12 and now i teach in my studio when we're not under this situation that we're in where i have adults come to my classes i have families that come to my classes um we have birthday parties we have all kinds of fun things going on in the studio and once all of this is better and things are better and we're not trapped inside not just because of the weather, but you know that virus thing. And we're not trying to keep the people that we love healthy. -er. Then we will um, start that back up again. I'm excited about that. Uh, shout out to um, 
some friends that have kind of helped me through this and um I'm excited for anyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. And if you've liked my Facebook pages, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I'm going to continue to do these for free. If you'd like to donate on my website, there's a donate button. And um, it's going to help me pay, you know, what I need to pay for. And because uh, this is how I, I made my money doing this. I was school teacher for 30 plus years and now I do this and I can't retire for a year and a half yet. So we're just kind of hoping this gets out of the way before then or somehow you guys are, you know, happy that I help you have some fun at home and hooray. So that's all the noise that we're going to talk about. Let's get started. Now, when I use acrylic paint I use a paper plate I try to only use a small one I use as much on that one plate as I can because I don't want to fill up the trash I don't want to fill up our landfills so I start typically by putting out for my background and we need to paint the background first the background of course is that stuff in the back around the outside of the owl back here and so I put about a size of a quarter. It's starting to drip a little, you can see. And I use a bigger brush. I use a bigger brush because if I use a bigger brush for bigger places, I can cover it better, cover it faster, and spend all my great time on the main subject. And my main subject today is this owl. So I start typically up in the corner and I paint. Now, I want to tell you that red and purple sometimes, depending on the flavor, not flavor, depending on the brand of paint that you use, by the way, I'm going up and down. Sometimes I'm going across. When I run out of paint, guess what? You gotta go get more. And I use plenty of paint. Don't be skimpy. Skimpy is for, I don't know, something else, but it's not for paint. Use plenty. There could be some skimpy paint days, but not right now. Not right now. Don't waste your paint, but surely don't be skimpy right now. I'm also painting my top and my sides. Okay? Paint your top and your sides like this. This is known as a gallery paint. You can put it up in your gallery. All your paintings and drawings that you do, ask permission, but then just use a little push pin and stick them in the wall. There's so many of them. This is exciting. So I come down here. Now here's the bottom. Can you see from the bottom to the top? So I'm only going to paint to right there. What? Because this part is the owl. And so back here I'll paint it owl colors. Now I've used one coat of paint on this piece. And it looks like that, one coat. If I let it dry, and I probably would, I would go back and then I'd paint a second coat over it. It's drying pretty fast because I have the fan on, but not quite as fast as it usually does because it's raining here. And like I said, I didn't know how that was going to work out. I am painting right up to the edge. In fact, I'm kind of going over him a little bit because can you see through his ears? Look up there. See, you can kind of see through it because his hair is shooting out. So I might be inclined even to do this. And though I see those lines, I know those lines are there. Then I can say, if you see through them, next time you're driving I, or you're looking out your window, see if you can see through trees. It's true. Your leaves are not so compact you can't see through them. Probably there's some space between them where you can see through them. You know what I mean? Check and look. Check and look. I use um, water. Just regular old everyday water put my brush in there. I wash them out in a few minutes. 
when I put them back in, in there and let them soak, you really have to get the paint out of the inside of the brushes. You have to open them up and wash in between the bristles to get out the paint. Just washing them like this, all that stuff stays inside. It's called a loaded brush. And all the paint stays inside there. And when you wash it, you're only washing the top part. That's like washing your hands right now. That's important. So we have to get in there and actually wash your hands, okay? And you're doing like the spider in between there. And you're washing the top and the bottom and the sides. And you, you almost have to do this. Well, that's the same way when you wash your brushes. It's really good to do that kind of washing on your hands as well. All right, so here we go. This is looking cute. So cute. What I want to do next is I want to make the nose and the eyes. Now, on that particular picture, I have, and I'm going to follow that, but if you don't want to follow my colors, honey, don't do it. Do it your way. You are the artist, okay? Okay. You be the artist. You be the artist. You be the artist. Isn't this cute? The little fan to help it get nice and dry real quick. But I'm going to paint the eyes, these big, pretty big giant footballs, um, because owls have big eyes. And then I'm going to paint the nose, and I'm going to paint the nose orange. So I've squirted it out. I don't know if you can see, but I, look how much smaller, how much I squirt out this time. Try to do that. About the size of a dime. A dime. You didn't know you were going to do a little math in here, did you? And you know what, mamas? Mamas, pay attention. Mamas, what you do every day is learning. This is what the teachers do too, probably. Regular, everyday life skills in the real world, you need to teach them this stuff. So this is a gift Staying home with them, although traumatic on occasion, I was a mother, is a gift that you're going to give them. I saw this lady, I love her so much, Emily. Emily was teaching her kiddo land management. They were doing the yard together. Land management. I think that's a perfect idea. That is a skill that the math teacher probably isn't going to get a chance to teach them. So it's your turn. And we we got this. Land management. Do some land management with your children. I thought that was a lovely idea. I taught Emily when she's five years old. I've taught her son. I'm hoping to teach her uh, daughter when she gets a little older and ready to come in. Now, I've taken my brush... And I've got a little smaller brush this time. I don't have that big brush. I have one a little smaller. And if you turn it this way, you get a wide line. If you put paint on it and you hold it like a soldier, hold it like a soldier. Can y'all see? And I go like this. I get a skinny line. You should try it. Try it that way. So I've got this soldier look. And when you get that little, uh, when it kind of shows through, I call those peekaboos. Get rid of those peekaboos. If your eyes now is when the time you can fix them, or you can fix them later, because we may go right back over them. Paint forgives. Another lovely reason to love art is that most of the time, you can fix your mistakes. It just takes a day or two or a thing or maybe some kind of, you know, creative thinking. Like you turn it into a tree or a rock or a butterfly or a blue bonnet. Now, when I washed it out, did you hear that? You know, Bob Ross, my hero, used to, I don't know, what do you say? She beat the devil out of it. Well, I'm not doing that today. I'm just washing the bottom. I'm touching the bottom. Touch the bottom. Write your name in the bottom. Do a little swish, 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 swish. And get it all clean. When you take it out, if your brush is round, you're going to pull it this way. If your brush is flat, use your fingers and 
pinch it a little bit and get it all nice and flat and pointy again. Do you see that? Nice and flat and pointy. Look how almost thin it could be. That's the thin, thin side. And lick it. Don't lick it. I'm kidding. Sometimes I kid. I'm joking. We all have to joke. It's how we survive. Okay? It's a coping mechanism. Mm, it is. Coping mechanism. Now, I'm going to go back in here and I touch just the ends of the bristles. Do you see how I didn't touch the whole thing? I just got part of it like this. It's adorable, isn't it? And then I'm going to go up, down, down, up, and I fill it in. Now, if you are an artist who is pretty advanced, you could add a little bit of the neighboring color from your color wheel, and your neighboring color might look like this. Next to the orange would be the yellow. You could also add the red, but since I've already used red in my background, I try not to use the color in my background anywhere else in my main part. It just is a color that's already been used. It's got its purpose. It's got its, its uh, job. It's doing its job. So we leave it alone. But I could take a little bit of yellow and I can do some blending in here because artists do that. And I'm just kind of blending my orange and my yellow together. Can y'all see? I'm going to bring it really, really close. And yeah, you see? I know, that's pretty cute, isn't it? So, this is blending. Artists do this. We're getting ready to do some great blending like that, too, coming up here in a little bit. Now, when you wash out that brush, you rinse it off, you can dry it off, or you can just pinch it like I did over in the side again, just a little pinch. And uh, parents, make sure you have on an apron or some kind of something, and you've got a plan for your floor because acrylic paint does not come out. Say it again. Acrylic paint does not come out very easily. Ask Amanda. Amanda, did you get that out of that little clothes? I was just checking. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to incorporate quite a few other colors in my owl. I feel the need for the base of his body, like the... Um, majority of his oh you hear that there's medicine for that <laughs> and i'm adding a few color colors that i don't have in my piece i've got some pinks some purples there is a light orange in there and if you don't have light orange all you have to do to make any color lighter is to add white. It's like the magic color. It's called tint. T-I-N-T. Write it down. T-I-N-T. Tint. Tint. Tint is how you make colors lighter. And if you want to make colors darker, you add black. That's another day. We're not there yet. But we will get there this week, maybe next week. Depends on my mood. And so now we've got green. We've got these colors. I'm kind of looking. I kind of like that. I might even possibly see some fluorescent colors. If you have some fluorescent colors, you could add that to it. Um, where do I buy my stuff? Mostly at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Walmart. I keep the folks that have jobs there in business because that's where I shop from. I shop from them locally in my neighborhood. That's just what I do. So, you do you, I'll do me. It works out so great when we do that, when we let each other be ourselves. All right, so now I've got all these beautiful colors, and I'm going to start by putting it in the blue. And I'm going to make some wispy owl feathers 
and I'm just swooping that out there all the way around where he is going to look like he has had 14 cups of coffee. 14 cups of coffee all over. He has had a lot. And when I run out of paint, guess what? You got to go back and put some more on your brush. Now, I've got him all the way out here. I kind of like it. These long ones, I'm going to give him some long ones because I like the great horned owls. They're my favorite. Then I'm going to come inside and I'm going to put some more of that same blue. If they overlap, that's fine, but we're not really at the overlapping part yet. We're just kind of giving him, you know, they're just starting. If you uh, have ever seen a baby bird, you know, they kind of start out with just pretty much naked looking. Uh, their skin is just skin. And uh, then their feathers start to grow in. When babies are born, sometimes they have that same situation. They don't have any hair. It's just got to grow in. Some are born with hair all over. It happens. So I've got one color of blue. I am not washing my brush because I'm going to hang out in my cool section of my color wheel. And my cool section of my color wheel will be blues and pinks right in here, this cool stuff. This is a cool color wheel part. And I'm going to come in here with the light blue and now almost in between and without... Y'all don't panic. I'm about to have to cough. <coughs> I did it wrong. <coughs> Into your elbow. I've got to find Perel. There's nobody around me, but what if, oh my goodness, what if I did? Where is the Perel? I saw it. I think I took it with me last night when I left. All right. I'm going to wash them off. Oh, I see what's even better. There's some wipes over here. <clears throat> now, I'm not going anywhere with anybody, but just so that you can see, whenever you do, if you cough in your hand, you make that grave error like I did, you wipe it off. You get in between those fingers like I talked about. You get your fingernails. You clean them up. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Sing it for 20 seconds and then you're through washing your hands. Clean. I'm back in. I'm going to take a sip of my soda. I'm having a little caffeine. Maybe you're having something to drink. And we're good to go. Okay, I'm going ahead again into my lighter blue, and I'm just going to put some of these extra fun, and I'm holding my brush on the side. I'm holding my brush like that. Whoop, whoop. Look, if I paint fast, I don't mean to. I just do. And I'm slowly it's covering up can you see how it's slowly covering up the white i call those peekaboos i'm kind of getting rid of my peekaboos i'm going in between in between in between depends on how old you are if you know what in between means if you don't know what in between we means mamas talk to them And daddies talk to them. Back when my kids were little, that wasn't that much. But I am so proud. The kids that come to my art classes, sometimes their parents bring them. And it used to be just mamas. But those dads, they are stepping up. I am proud as punch. I think my son-in-law will step up too. He will do just as much as my daughter. I'm very excited about that. Um, our society is getting really good at that. Not that Mr. Keller isn't great, because he was awesome. 
He made sure we had plenty of food on our table, and that was important. And we had a roof over our head, and we had insurance and all that other good stuff. But we, they did, their parents didn't, my parents didn't grow up like that. It's kind of the mama job. Now, I still see peekaboos in there. He's not scaring you, is he? Don't let him scare you. He's just cute. My mom doesn't like owls. I don't know why. She says they make too much noise and keep her awake at night. She makes me laugh. Now, I'm coming up here to the edge. I'm going to wipe off the edge of that brush. Do you see wipey, 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 wipey? You got some extras right there. I'm going to go to the purple now, and I'm going to give him some more. I know, but this is called layering, and I'm looking to hide, hide that canvas. I don't want to see that canvas in there. I'm trying to get rid of any of those white canvas marks that are still in there. I am not scrubbing. Nope, I am. I would be listening to music when I paint. I like to paint to a beat. I can't paint to a beat because there's some rule about copyright laws unless someone wants to give me rights to their music so I can paint to it. Um, that ain't going to happen, so let's just not talk about it. But I would do that. I've got this dark purple. I've got some blue. Remember, I'm using the colors that I want to use. You use the colors you want to use. Or maybe that you have. I have a painting that it has a lot of purple in it. And people say, well, I, what were you trying to impart to the people who were looking at your painting? I said, it had nothing to do with the fact that it was purple or that I was trying to tell you some kind of mood or something. It's what I had. Sometimes artists have to do with what they have. We're learning that, aren't we? That's one of the skills we're learning right now. I'm going to put, oh, do you see that? We're going to call that a happy accident. And I'm going to put a little bit of these kind of curving out to the side. Almost looks like a cat. You could make a cat next if you wanted to. He's pretty adorable. He may need to be a little bit more chubby. And what if I wanted his owl feathers, instead of going up, I wanted his owl feathers to kind of go down. Look at that. You can paint right on top of that red. Remember how I said make it bigger than you really wanted it? Because you may want to do that. Oh my goodness, he is adorable. I like this side better than this one, so I want to even him up a little bit. And I'm painting again. It is okay to go back over that color again. Ooh, look at that light one shining through there. Now I like that side.